Now, when you're looking to do your YouTube channel art, you have to pay attention to where your YouTube icon is going to be. So this is gonna be in the top left, where these links will be. These are links you can add to your YouTube channel. And typically you want just to have something in the middle. Let me just go to another channel that I like to show you. Mike and Lauren, I actually co-taught a YouTube masterclass with them. And this is something that a lot of people will do too, is have their actual schedule on their YouTube channel art. So whenever anyone comes to their channel, they see, hey, these people post videos every Friday and Sunday. And I like what they did here with their putting them in the actual channel art because people are connected to you. They wanna be connected to you. And when you have your YouTube logo, it might just be your brand logo, your business logo, and it might not be a picture of you unless you are your brand. And that's perfectly fine. If you have an image of yourself here in your logo, you might not need to have an image of yourself here in your channel art. But I do think it's important to make, personalize your channel. And so either put your image in your channel art or right here in the logo. So for me, I have my Video School Online logo, so I wanna make sure that I'm on the channel art so people know who I am. So I'm going to bring in this headshot photo that I did, and I have a transparent background. So I'm going to bring this into my channel right here. So I just place it, I'm resizing it, now I'm gonna zoom in here so I can really see where I'm going to place it. I wanna place it at the very bottom of this channel art line. So if I drop this below our spec layer, just put it off to the right a little bit and then use the arrow keys to nudge it to the right or left. And I think that's gonna be pretty darn good. And so now what I do is going to go bring in my logo Again, you can use all these files. They're in the supplemental resources. Just placing it and resizing it and positioning it. So I think I'm gonna be a little bit more to the right and Video School Online logo is gonna be right there in the center. Again, putting this below our spec layer. And then the last thing we have to do is create our text right here. So what I'm gonna do is take my text tool right here on the left, I'm just going to click in the middle, and it says that I can't do that there because it thinks I'm trying to edit this text right here in the overlay. So what I'm going to do is just click down a little bit below, and then I will t type in my text and move it later. And the text that I want to add is learn skills, new skill, new videos weekly. So I'm just taking my text tool again, typing in here, new skills or learn skills. Then this little bar space, new videos weekly. Okay. So now I'm just going to move this up and put it about centered with my Video School Online logo. So I'm just gonna turn off this overlay right here, move my text down below. And what I can do to make sure everything is vertically centered, I can select this text. I can select my logo by holding down the Shift key and clicking the logo. And then I can also select this Your Art Here background by holding Command and clicking that. So you can actually command click any of these actually instead of shift to select multiple. And then going up here to these align tools and go to align horizontal centers. And that does not look like it's horizontally centered. And that's because this your art here is not centered in the background. So I'm going to center this right with the size of this actual composition. So just change the size of this background and then I'm going to select, command select the learn new skills, the VSO logo, and then do this align horizontal center. So now everything is centered horizontally. But this text I have to edit because it's white and I'm gonna make this darker. So I'm going to select my text, go to my character panel. If you don't see your character panel, go up to window, character. 
select my color, and now choose one of the colors in my logo. So I think I'm just gonna do the darker gray, very dark gray, almost black. Now with my zoom tool, I press Z on my keyboard and hold down Option or Alt. I can zoom back out. I can turn on my spec overlay and I can see what it looks like. So you see this line going up and down in the middle. This is part of the project file that you download and can use. This is the center of this file. So this will help you guide you in determining the center. But if I don't want to see that, I can go up to view, show, guides, and turn that off. So this looks pretty good. The only thing now though is that I think the text and the logo don't stand out from the background as much as I want them to. So what I can do is brighten up just this part of the background right around here. And to do that, I can take select my image layer, go to this dodge tool. So over here on the left, if you hold this one, it looks like a little pin drop, not the burn, but the dodge. And then what it's going to add, if you start to click, it's going to say this smart object must be rasterized before proceeding. Edit contents will no longer be available. Rasterize the smart object. So it's asking us if we want to rasterize, which is basically saying that after this, it's not going to be a raw image that we can resize bigger because it's going to get pixelated. But if we're happy with where we're, our image is and how big it is and how we've colorized it or done color correction, then we can rasterize it and select OK. And now you see that I have this big brush. I'm going to go up here to the brush size and decrease to a little bit smaller, maybe like around 300 pixels or so. That's pretty good. And the hardness, I want to be at zero so that the edges are feathered. And you'll see right here what happens. It's very subtle. I'm just going to undo that and make the exposure 100% so you can see more what's happening. As I paint over this background, you can see the background get brighter. So I'm just going to make this again around 50% the exposure and just paint over the backdrop just a little bit. And if you click more than once, you're clicking and holding and dragging to paint over. But if you unclick and then click again, it's going to redo that. So you can actually just keep clicking and cl keep painting on and it'll get brighter and brighter. And now that's good because it just stands out from the background a little bit more. Now this font that I used, if I go to my character panel and select this text, is Arial Regular. I want to choose another one. I'm going to ch choose Avenir Next Medium. And this is a font that I purchased and you might not have, so you might have to use something else. But I'm also going to make this just a little bit smaller and apply that transformation. And there you have it. I It's kind of funny right now how I'm kind of floating in space. But when you upload this to YouTube, it's going to look great. And so when you save it, you want to make sure that you uncheck this spec layer. So you want to hide that layer. Go up to File, Save As, change the format from Photoshop to JPEG, rename it to VSO... YouTube channel art or whatever your brand is. Click Save. Make sure the quality is at 12 maximum and then click OK. Now that's going to be saved and you could go to your YouTube channel and upload this file and it will look amazing. Thanks so much for watching and in the next lesson we're going to be using what we've done here to create our other social media cover art in a very quick and easy way.